All praises to Yahweh. Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Bahashim Rakah Kadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone for teaching us this truth. And today's lesson is going into sedition among men. Or we can name it after uh, what it's actually named. It's Nashville Bomber. Let quiet life warn of explosion. So, and you know, you know, with Esau, you know, you just never can tell. But you have Bashim Yahusha said at the end, he's just gonna, gonna reveal these things, man. You know, no, 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 no thing can be hid, okay? Okay, so, um, we'll get that uh, precept, Lord willing. Let's get into this video here with, uh, that's, uh, been posted on uh, uh, RT America uh, three hours ago. Uh, uh, this uh, video is 11 minutes and uh, 30 seconds, but we're not going to let it go that far. We're going to um, pretty much, you know, get into a few details about it. And uh, we're going to hear some precept, Lord willing. It'll be edifying to the flock. Investigators in Nashville, Tennessee know who did it, but the motive remains a mystery. Today, federal authorities remain at the scene of that crime following the Christmas Day bombing that killed the accused bomber and injured three others. RT correspondent Natasha Sweet has the latest on the information authorities are working to piece together. You're watching video of the Nashville explosion set off on Christmas morning. Police retrieved the footage from their network cameras. This one situated in downtown. Before the bomb was detonated, a pre-recorded warning went off with a 15 minute countdown telling people that a bomb would in fact be going off. We've come to the conclusion that an individual named Anthony uh, Warner is the bomber. That he was present when the bomb went off and that he perished in the bombing. Authorities say they linked DNA evidence to 63-year-old Anthony Quinn Warner. See? Now, they're saying uh, uh, he, he died in the bombing. Uh, you know, I hadn't really been, like, uh, doing a lot of uh, research on this. But, you know, that, that gives them leeway. When I say give them leeway, meaning talking about, uh, you know, Esau Edom, you know, the government, uh, so you can understand. It can get them leeway to pretty much uh, do what they want as far as uh, this uh, explosion is concerned, you know. But, you know, this always been the face of a terrorist right here that you're looking at on the screen, man. You know, this is the face of terror right here, you know. But Esau Edom, you know, he has a way, his deceptive uh, 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 mind to, you know, uh, point the finger at someone else when the thumb is actually pointing at himself, man. You see, and our people being just as silly and, you know, no, no matter how much history comes out on this, this man, you know, uh, our people uh, continue to, you know, uh, uh, forgive him, man. And active, uh, all of the atrocities that he has committed has been swept under the rug. Uh, or, you know, like the scriptures say, his sin has not been all wiped away. You see? They say the bomb went off in an RV parked downtown. Neighbors say the RV at the explosion was similar to the one normally at Warner's residence. Overnight, TBI forensic scientists processed evidence from the crime scene for DNA testing. The evidence was compared to evidence collected from a vehicle used. Hey, so let's get that precept, man. Uh, uh, what is it? Uh, Ecclesiasticus. Uh, you know, because uh, people still thinking Esau Edom is the good guy, man. But uh, you, right now, you have Hashem Yahushai is allowing uh, these things to, uh, you know, uh, uh, accuse him, man. His 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 sins is being his accuser. You see, uh, this is uh, uh, Ecclesiasticus 
uh, or Sarat 12 and 10, it says, Never trust thy enemy. For like as an iron rusted, so is his wickedness. Though he humble himself and go crouching, yet take good heed and beware of him. And thou shalt be unto him as if thou hast wiped a looking glass, and thou shalt know that his rust had not been altogether wiped away. And, and, and you know, and this is, this is that guy, man. That where his sin has not been all wiped away, man. You know, all of these uh, Edomites that you're seeing, man, on your screen. Went off in an RV parked downtown. Neighbors say the RV at the explosion was similar to the one normally at Warner's residence. Overnight, TBI forensic scientists processed evidence. See, that's what I'm thinking. Now, they're saying the, uh, the uh, RV had been exploded, but now they're saying there's another RV. That's similar to the one he has. Hey, you know, and, and look at this Edomite right here, you know, covering his face, you know. You know, it, it, I always have a, you know, it's a stigma <laughs> to me when a man's covering his face, you know. And, and him having that hat over his eyes like that, you know. Hey, which, you know, they all wicked, man. From the crime scene for DNA testing. The evidence was compared to evidence collected from a vehicle used by the person of interest in this case. Officials say Warner blew himself up in the explosion and is believed to have acted alone. Three people were injured and dozens of buildings were damaged, including an AT&T transmission center. According to local media, among the more than 500 leads given to investigators, agents are looking into reports that Warner experienced paranoia, believing that 5G was being used to spy on Americans. The explosion also caused disruptions to... Which, you know, we all know that, you know, spying on Americans. Uh, I've been hearing, uh, you know, it's been that and... And, and, you know, made to be used as a weapon, you know, uh, and so on and so forth. But, you know, uh, like the scriptures say, man, I, the most high has speeded up time, man. Uh, if, if he didn't, it would be no flesh saved <laughs> from this devil, man. Hey, that's the devil, man, for you, man. You see, the Yahweh Shem Shah has definitely made this devil, you know, hey, the best devil that can be made. Let's get this next precept. Uh, uh, this is the book of uh, Luke. Luke uh, 12 and, uh, no, Luke 12, Luke 8, I'm sorry, 8 and 17. It says, for, for nothing is secret that shall not be be made uh, manifest neither anything hid that shall not be known and come abroad it says take heed therefore how ye hear for whoso so whosoever had had to so like I said had to him shall be given and whosoever had not from him shall be taken even that which is seemed to have you see but the uh, uh, the point is in uh, verse 17 where it says nothing for nothing is secret. You know, you have Bashim Yahshua is made to where it's nothing, there's no secrets that's been here, you know, because, you know, Esau has always, you know, secrecy has always been his, uh, one of his power uh, uh, structures. You know, he always had power and secrecy. You see? internet connections and cell phone service back in november warner reportedly which he's right according though. to local media among the more than 500 leads given to investigators agents are looking into reports that warner experienced paranoia believing that 5g was being used to spy on americans the explosion also caused disruptions to internet connections and cell phone service back in november warner reportedly transferred his property to a woman in los angeles for zero dollars the woman declined to comment referring to the fbi's orders a cousin of Warner's said he owned an alarm company in the past. He also worked as a computer consultant for a Nashville real estate company for 15 years. One of the co-owners said Warner retired earlier this month and never exhibited any behavior which was less than professional. Neighbors described Warner as a loner. Several celebrities offering reward money. <laughs> hey, that's Esau, man. Esau always been like that, but 
they always are they 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 are known to you know you know whatever they were going through they would always uh make make it to where uh someone else is being the accused instead of instead of them okay this is matthew twenty four and twenty two it said, except those days should be shortened, there shall no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. You know, and Lord willing, I'm one of those elect men, you know. I'm pretty sure every brother that's in, in this truth, man, you know, with, with, with a sincere heart, uh, are praying that, you know, that they are part of the elect, man, you know. To help assist in the investigation, some three hundred thousand dollars has been raised so far. And now, that's my thing, Tennessee man. You know, a lot of these, you know, uh, celebrities, man. I believe that they have to give this money back when different things occur like this. You know, because I mean, who really says if this money is actually going to the cause? And uh, man, and let's go on with it. Has requested an emergency declaration from the president. All heard money to help assist in the investigation. Some three hundred thousand dollars has been raised so far. Now, the governor of Tennessee has requested an emergency declaration from the president. All the while, authorities are still searching for a motive. Reporting for in question, Natasha Sweet, RT. And you know this motive, man. I, I truly believe that this is uh gonna uh, uh go into uh for them to bring in martial law, you know, uh, as well as all the other things that has been going on with, you know, with this so-called Black Lives Matter and Antifa and, you know, with uh, 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 the elections and the coronavirus and all this, man, plays a part, man. You know, they're going to say they were over overwhelmed. The police can't control. They need help. So that's why... You know, that's, uh, you know, that's why I, I believe it, you know, through the spirit that they're going to bring in is, uh, uh, you know, martial law, man. You know, so uh, let's get another precept on that. This is, uh, this is, uh, what, what am I looking for? I'm looking for Second Edges, uh chapter 15, I believe it is, 15 and uh, uh, 16. And it says, uh, uh, for there should be sedition among men and invading one another. They shall not regard the kings, their kings, nor princes. And the course of their actions shall stand in their power. You see, and a man should desire to go into a city and should not be able. See, and this is, you know, we have seen a little bit of here and there, you know, spurts of, you know, them blocking, uh, uh, uh you know things off and to that sort but you know uh that'll make it even better for them to push this maxine to block things off and you know be able to uh control you know who gets the uh you know the uh uh this this the, the witch's brew you know <laughs> that you know the jab okay but anyway, verse 18, it says, For because their pride, the city shall be troubled, and the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. You know, you're going to see a lot of that, man. It's going to kick in, man. A lot of that's going to kick in because, you know, you got to, uh, uh, you know, it still hasn't been really talked about as much as it used to be. But, you know, you're going to see definite uh, 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 famine of food and water, you know, so on and so, you know. And 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 the, and the famine of the word also, you know, uh, it's been a lot of people that has been uh, losing their, you know, their way of uh, their income of taking care of themselves and their family, you know, and uh, and I truly believe that man that this is actually gonna uh, uh this is just another uh, uh stick to add to the fire, man, to bring on martial law. Sweet RT. Now joining us. Yeah, man. So we're not really gonna listen to these. Uh, you know, these are just you know different analysts or whatever. 
you know, it's, uh, it's going into, uh, you know, the, the, this uh, so-called atrocity, you know. So we're going to get one more precept and we can end it off. Uh, this is the book of Mark, uh, chapter 3 and verse 25. It says, no, let's start at uh, 23. And it says, and he called unto them. And this is Yahweh Shai. Uh, and he said unto them in parables, how can Satan cast out Satan? You see? And, and you know, this is always, you know, we all know that that's in this truth. And, and that, you know, that do, uh, you know, um, research. On, on, on the history of, of the elites that run the world, you know, they always have, you know, have, uh, make, uh, the public afraid or, uh, bring up an issue so they can, you know, you know, have a solution for it. You see? And it says, verse 24, and it says, if a kingdom be divided against itself, the kingdom cannot stand. So now you're going to have uh, what they call a conspiracy theorist that comes out and, you know, which I have seen a, a few videos that uh, some of the brothers had, uh, you know, on their page. Uh, one brother, uh, I can't remember his name right off, but uh, uh, forgive me for that. But uh, I followed his page uh, yesterday and he had a video on it where it was showing like it's. It's like a missile that comes in and, and, and destroys that section of downtown in Nashville. And, uh, hold on, I think I can get his name. Uh, uh, Lord willing, I can, you know, Lord willing, I can get it. Uh, excuse me for that. Uh, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. I can't think of, well, I, I'm not going to go through all that because it's going to take way too long to try to find out what the brother's name is, but uh, shalom to the brother, and uh, yeah, let's get ready to end this off with this uh, this last precept. It says, uh, it says, if a kingdom be divided against itself, the kingdom cannot stand, and if a house be divided against itself, the house cannot stand, and if Satan rise up against Satan, himself and be divided he cannot stand but had an end see <laughs> hey that's hey that's what we're looking for man you see that's what we're looking for so we want to give all praise and honor to you how about shimmy abishai by shimmy kakadash double honors to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone for teaching us this truth shalom to the hopeful elect